Hey Ravens fans, we're here with Eugene Monroe, the big left tackle who just put his name on the paper. How did it feel to put your name next to that X with a new five-year contract? It was awesome, man. Uh, you know, I brought my wife and my daughter with me. Uh, my wife's pregnant, so, you know, all four of us were in there. Uh, you know, it's just an awesome feeling um, to be able to continue to play. A lot of people don't get this opportunity, uh, and I don't take it for granted one bit. What have these last few few weeks been like for you? And there's some uncertainty. Are you going to be here? Are you going to go somewhere else? I'm sure there's a lot of things going on in your mind. Yeah, well, for me, uh, you know, the entire time, uh, my agent was hashing out a deal with the Ravens. Uh, you know, the goal was to be here. Um, and as it got closer, uh, particularly this past week when other teams could contact us, uh, you know, the nervousness arose just a little bit because, uh, you know, when you get calls and you hear interest from other teams, you start to wonder, like, okay, it might work out somewhere else. So, uh, but, you know, in the end, it worked out here, which is, you know, the best place for me. Now, every player has a little bit of a different philosophy. How involved are you in the negotiations? Are you, you know, talking to your agent saying, what's the update, what's the update? Are you talking to anybody within the organization, whether it's Ozzy or John? How involved were you or are you to say, let me know when a deal's done and when I can come in and sign the paper? I mean, I wanted to know every call, uh, you know, everyone who contacted my agent. I mean, my wife even got to a point where she was like, you know, you need to leave him alone and let him do his job. So I was calling him, you know, a couple of times an hour, just, you know, anyone calling you? Is anyone calling you? You know, what did you talk about? Uh, you know, because I wanted to know. Um, you know, I don't feel like this is a process you need to be left in the dark about. I mean, you know, this is my future. Uh, and my presence, so I needed to know now. As soon as I can get the information, I wanted my agent to give it to me. Now, even during this process, I saw you here just about every day at the Under Armour Performance Center working out, sometimes a couple times a day. Yeah. You know, sometimes I would see you in there after work. Yeah. And, and so you were there consistently throughout this time. Why was it important for you to stay here during that entire time and continue working out, even though you knew there was a possibility that there's something, it was up in the air? Yeah, um, I knew the possibility was there that I could no longer be here, but I wanted to be here. Um, and, you know, I live here now with my family and, you know, still under contract until that league year ended. So, you know, I have full access to the facility. So why not come here and train? So, uh, you know, I was going to train regardless of where I was at. And it just happened that, you know, we were here. Uh, we had no reason to leave the city. So uh, I came here every day. The Ravens have been looking for a franchise left tackle really since Jonathan Ogden retired after the 2007 season. Now when you get this kind of contract, that's you. You're here for the next five years. You're viewed as a franchise left tackle. What does that mean to you? Um, it means a lot. You know, when there's certain positions on the field, not saying that any one is more important than another, but, you know, certain positions that you need to be absolutely solid. Um, and you see teams with consistency at those positions, whether it's quarterback, cornerback, uh, left tackle, uh, you know, you need those guys to be there, to be consistent, and to be great players for your team to have success. So, uh, you know, when the Ravens can trust me with that job, uh, it means a great deal. You mentioned the quarterback, you mentioned trust. Well, Joe Flacco's going to have to trust you. Last year they signed him to a six-year deal. Now you're signed for a five-year deal. You guys are somewhat paired at the hip here moving forward for the next several seasons. How do you view the responsibility and how important is What does it mean to you to be the protector of the franchise quarterback? You know, it's... It's been my job since I've been in the league, uh, you know, and it's a job that I've done well and I, I plan to continue to do it better. Um, you know, I think my performance speaks for itself and, and, and Joe knows what kind of player I am and I think he'll feel confident with me protecting him. What qualities do you have to have to be a franchise left tackle? Um, you know, first, uh, you know, just it starts mentally, um, you know, because without that piece, if you're not mentally strong, uh, if you don't have the ability to endure, the ambil ability to forget, um, the, the ability to do the things over and over again that become boring, but without doing it, you can't perfect your craft. Uh, it all starts there. And then, you know, the physical things are without saying. You have to be, you know, strong, fast, explosive, balanced, you know, all the things that coaches look for in a player on film. Uh, at that position, you have to be complete in all, fa in all facets of it. So, uh, you know, that, that's what makes a good tackle. You know, a guy who's in the game mentally, a guy who's on top of his game physically uh, as a complete package. When you sign a deal like this, it's more than just the money, it's more than just the years. There's also the consideration of where the team's going to be and what kind of competitor the team is going to be. 
this team is two years removed from winning a Super Bowl. You're going to be here for at least the next five years. How confident are you that this team can compete and play for a Super Bowl during the time of this contract? Extremely confident. Uh, you know, this past year I came midway through the season and, you know, the way the season went towards the end and not getting to the playoffs, that was not a feeling that was, uh, you know, comfortable around here. It's definitely not something that they're used to doing. Um, you know, they're in the postseason every year, and I think the team that we have now is capable of doing that, and I know they're working on improving the team even further. At the end of the season, Ozzie Newsom talked about some of the priorities for the team, and improving the offensive line was one of the main ones. Resigning you was the first step in that. What else needs to happen in order to get this line back on track and, and win at times that struggled last year? Uh, one consistency, keeping everyone healthy. Um, some things you can't control. Uh, I think having KO back will help tremendously. I played with him just a short time, and uh, you know he's one of the nastiest players I've played with. I mean, he's on the field, you know, giving people the business every play, and that's you know part of the thing that we need is to have that attitude that we impose our will on our opponent consistently every game. When a team watches us and prepares for us, they know they're in for a battle every snap of the ball game. New offensive coordinator this year, so it's an era of change. Gary Kubiak coming in as the OC. Have you had a chance to meet him yet? And what are your impressions of him and, and what you how you'll fit into his offense? Yeah, so I've met I met coach and had a few uh, you know brief conversations and I'm sure moving forward now we'll get to speak a little bit more. Um, you know I did see the offense that he ran in Houston every week while I was in Jacksonville for four years. Uh, you know, seeing Houston's film because we're playing the same team. So very familiar with that play style and uh, definitely confident in my abilities to uh, execute within it. What are your, your expectations for this offense this year? Um, you know, the goal is has to be to put up points. I mean, and I think we have the people to do it and we're moving in the right direction with this change. Um, but, you know, that's that's all we need to do. I mean, that's the goal of offense, period, and we need to execute and make that happen. I know a lot of the fans are excited to have you here long term. Do you have a message for the Ravens Nation now that you're into this deal? You know what? It's cool, man. I, once the news broke that I was signing with the Ravens, I logged on to Twitter on my phone and I had it on my computer as well. And it just went off. I mean, every, you know, couple seconds, I'm getting 50 messages of people, you know, just giving me all the love and, and support that they could. So I'm definitely appreciative of them. I know the Ravens fans are definitely happy for that. Any deep sea tri fishing trips planned for you? I know you're a big fisher. Yeah, I was just in Florida a few weeks ago fishing. Uh, you know, I think I have one day left to fish a Wahoo tournament. So hopefully uh, I'll go down there soon. And, you know, you might be hearing about me winning a tournament. I need to do that. <laughs> I need to get one of those under my belt. That would be a nice way to add to your offseason. It's been a pretty good start so far. Yeah, yeah, it's been an awesome start. Uh, but this is just the beginning of, uh, you know, five years and, you know, how that goes, maybe more. All right, Eugene, thank you very much. Congratulations. We're glad to have you here long term. Thanks, man. I appreciate it.